Well, 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 long time no video. I mean, it's not like anyone waited for me, but still, I have finally something to show off for my game Down Down Die, which is a really cool way of solving the issue for platformer enemies that have the movement like the player, so enemies that can jump and walk. Because you have to understand that normally platformer games don't have these kind of enemies. They either have flying enemies with the all-known A-star algorithm or enemies that patrol on one height. And the biggest part of the content in my game comes through the enemies. So it's crucial that I have a big variety of them, including enemies that seem intelligent. So let me show you what I have done. I have already introduced you to this little working bomb, which explodes whenever it gets close to the player. But its AI used the A-star pathfinding algorithm to get a path. It simply said whenever the direction is pointing upwards, jump, and when it's horizontal, walk. This led to some problems. For example, it jumped when it's not supposed to jump, because the A-star path just goes straight through the air. So I created a system that holds a graph with any node that's accessible for the enemy, and a list of paths that all lead to a specific goal from any node position in the graph. So the system does not have to generate a path for each object that wants to access it, one path for each goal, which is much more effective. But how does this work? Let me explain it by this sample scene. The first thing the algorithm does is checking whether a tile is empty and has a ground tile under it. If that's the case, it creates a node for this empty tile. Then it checks whether all created nodes have two neighbors, either a ground tile or a node. If there's only one neighbor, it creates another node in the empty space. These nodes are marked as orange, as you can see here. The last step for the graph is to fill out the empty spaces below the orange nodes with new nodes, which is marked in red. After these three steps, we have our graph. And now we can simply create a path by going backwards from the goal and remembering the direction we came from. Then the path looks like this. As you can see, the path has multiple starting points, which is because we only need one path for all possible positions an enemy could have. This is much more effective and suitable for our needs. So let's bring in an enemy. It now simply has to walk in x direction of the path. Jump whenever it points upwards and wait if it goes down. And this leads the enemy always to its destiny, as long as it can jump high enough. When visualizing the system right in the game, it looks like this. As you can see, the system automatically updates the path whenever the goal moves a certain distance. Yay, now I finally have a system that allows me to create seemingly intelligent enemies. And if you like the video or my game, then please subscribe to my channel. Next time I will present many enemies and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. Bye bye!